What is it that you are telling multinationals? There must be so much. So tell me, I mean, how is the landscape for them? It's a very important part of the world to be in. Yeah, I think, Rich, we're seeing a profound change taking place. The, we're shifting to a new multipolar world where economic and political power resides in new centers that uh, Western multinational companies look at as their future markets. But we have this complex mix of political populism and protectionism, whilst at the same time leaders are embracing inward investment from those markets. You've got to make them uh, resonate on a local level, don't you, these man uh, MNCs, these multinational companies? And, and that's the trick, isn't it, to some extent? I think it is. I think multinational companies need to uh, grapple with the need for great intelligent and intelligence and insight so they can uh, differentiate r rhetoric from reality and understand what the true nature of the, of the opportunities are. Um, I think we're seeing new companies, new entrants into markets, those that are smart and capable, are going out and finding the sources of intelligence and insight that they need from advisors, bringing that capability into their organization. They're also working out how to use that insight and that information. Um, perhaps looking at their boards and making sure they're more representative uh, of the new markets in which they operate. Um, and finding advisors who are current, who are relevant, and can help them weave through uh, these challenges and appreciate what's real and, and what's not in terms of market opportunity. Right. So what, in your view, is the chief, chief challenge? And when we mention emerging markets, I mean, they vary widely, these different countries, don't they? I mean, we can have protectionist ones and others with the very porous borders. I think that's right, but I think we're seeing a trend. I think we are seeing strong leaders from um, uh, Mr. Abe in Japan, Mr. Modi in India, Xi Jinping in China, Mr. Jokowi in, in Indonesia. There are some common threads here. They're inviting, they're inviting inward investment, but they're inviting inward investment in a very different way. They want to have a degree of control over the nature of those relationships. Um, if we look at the way Xi Jinping is using anti-monopoly laws in China, it's a means to control and manage certain markets, ensure that there are domestic, domestic competitors that can thrive. So where international companies used to be able to come in and, and create a, a, a strong relationship in, in a particular country, in a particular sector, that's changed. I think there are trends all across the region, but this complex mix of nationalism, protectionism, plus uh, an open market attitude is complex and difficult for companies to understand. Well, and it gets even more complicated because you just mentioned uh, that they face competition, of course, as you, as you would do. But these are also countries, in, particularly in China, which want to create national champions of their own and their own multinational companies, do they not? I think that's right. And I think they're tr creating market conditions that uh, at least give them a five fighting chance, if not enhance their opportunity to compete in sectors where innovation traditionally has been driven from the West. I think there's something else happening, though, that's a real challenge for Western multinational companies looking to enter new markets. They're competing against Chinese and Japanese uh, multinationals that very often take a longer view, that do business in a different way. We look at China's uh, multinationals, it's private and it's SOE companies investing in Africa, forging new kinds of partnerships, engaging with government in a way the Western multinationals never have before. And if you look at Japan's long-term strategy in India, it's about helping to support those crucial new infrastructure uh, developments that will bind the country together. And I think Narendra Modi's found in the Japanese multinationals partners who understand the country and the, what he's trying to do in a way that some Western multinationals have struggled to do.